Welcome to the Bermondsey Beer Mile. We are here this week as we explore what is underneath the arches. So let's start the show! Welcome back to the Bermondsey Beer Mile. This week we have been exploring what is underneath the arches all the way between Bermondsey and London Bridge. And today we have to finish all the craft beer breweries that remain and there could be quite a lot. Because we only featured one in the first episode, didn't we Paul? <laughs> but what we haven't mentioned yet is why are they here? And you can tell us a bit more about that. Well, the reason that they are here is because it is to use up the space underneath the actual railways to make good use of that area. Well, yes, they used to be used for light industry. Now, make of that what you will. It could be maybe someone who built boats. It could be someone... Textiles. Textiles. It could be someone who, who painted. It could be like boat artists, boat building, anything like that. So... I think the idea now is that they've been sort of like rented out as food and, um, drink. and drink places for startups because the rents in London are so high that at least here you get a smaller space and it may be a little bit cheaper than elsewhere. So let's go and check out what else is on offer. This is an interesting one behind us. I thought it was the French flag actually flying, but it says it Dutch. ain't much if it ain't Dutch. It's a Dutch tap room. But what I'm wondering is, so why is Tom Baker on it? Doctor Who? There's a picture of Doctor Who on there. Well, we were going to go in, but there is a security guard outside, so no, he might sort of be a bit arsy when it comes to filming. So we're so. actually going to give this one a miss and have a look at one of the others instead. So we've got three in a row here. We've got the Moore beer company vaults and tap room which has got a bit of a halloween theme to it there we've got gosnells of london which looks as though it's trying to be a bit upmarket and we've got cloud water which has got a big cloud with rain coming out of it which of course we don't want to see in the summertime we want to see sunshine so should we go to the first <laughs> i think cloud water looks quite good let's head in Well, we've just come out of cloud water and it seems that most, if not all, the beers that they do in there are from Manchester. I think it's the Manchester Brewing Company or something. So I had a Piccadilly Porter, I have to say. Of all the ones that we've had so far, it was the one that I liked the best. Um, it was a bit like a stout, I suppose. Porter and stout, quite similar. And Paul, what was yours? SoCal, I think this was like a standard pale ale. It wasn't overly special. It was very, very ordinary. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't um, the best either. Now, we both got half pints, but I did notice on the glass that they had the measures for the one third pint and the two third pints. So you could have got those as well, as well as a pint. Um, but these craft beers they can be quite expensive yes and also it can be a little bit misleading when they put the prices up. i'm not just saying about this place but like all the places because 
they'll say like a half pint for one particular one might be seven pounds and then another one it'll display the price for a pint which is six pounds or something like that so you have to be very wary very because you could be paying seven pounds just for the half pint so if you got a pint that'd be 14 quid i don't know if we've ever paid that for a beer no like sands through the hourglass so are the days of our lives so please subscribe Maybe we go into the more vaults. You want more? Of you want course more. I want more. You want more beer? Well, I more. do like the skeletons, especially yeah. one of them has got like um, some pearls. pearls. Yes. So yeah. let's check this one out. But I think after this, we really will need to find somewhere to eat as well. I might actually be as bold to say that the stout that I got at Moor, Bolts and Taproom, was the best that I've had so far. No. Yes. But then when we've got this far, we've had quite a lot to drink already. We did. Yeah, and it is Friday now. So you had the the what? Distortion. Oh right, and that was an IPA, was it? Yes. And how was that? Again, I didn't try yours. It was okay. Yeah. It was nice. That, um, that's not very descriptive, my dear. It was very palatable and I did enjoy drinking it. Um, would I order it again? I don't know. Um, it was okay. The stout that I had, again, I always use uh, Fuller's uh, Black Cab as a sort mm -hmm. of a guide to stouts. I don't like to sort of compare them against Guinness because Guinness is... In a, it, it's in a league of its own yeah and you can't really compare it yeah. but against um fuller's black cab it was quite similar to that mm. i thought um slightly fizzy but not overly fizzy so that was good for me what are we going to do paul we need to find food do any of them serve food God, i hope so well we've come to sort of the the end bit i suppose you could say we're nearing oh, the London, or the beginning, <laughs> well, yes, the beginning of it, depending which way you go. But we're heading towards London Bridge now, and there's still quite a lot of arches occupied by bars. But we're looking for food. We are. It's a quarter to three now, oh, and we haven't eaten since our breakfast this morning. We've done three episodes. We do still want to have another drink but we need something to soak up everything that we've had so far. Here. The Barrel Project. This one looks really busy, my dear. Mm. Italian bakery, Paul? What about this? Yeah. There's food here. It's Italy. There's pizza laid out. Let's do that. I think this might be it. Well, we really needed that at Forno Von we Vino. Did. Yes, we didn't have the Von Vino though, but we had the spaghetti. You had the pasta penny. penny. Yeah, mine. He said was spicy. It wasn't that spicy. I had the mushroom and sausage meat. And we also had a couple of pastries. Mine was an apricot tart. And what was yours, Paul? I can't remember. Mine was like this little. 
pastry thing. Oh yes, with different types of berries on top. A but it was very, very nice. About 25, 25 pounds. pounds exactly. That was Super. really good value for lunch. Food is still on our minds though. Yes. And you are going to go to the St. John Bakery. So hopefully, so hopefully they'll have something tasty. Mm. The closer we get to London Bridge, the busier it seems to get. Look at this. This looks, this looks really busy. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this whole series. It's um, absolutely buzzing down at this end and it is getting brighter as the day goes on for us. But it is Friday now, so it's time for us to pack up for the week. But before we go, for those of you that, that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way, then the link is in the description. And we will see you next week because it's still summer with Paul and Marcus. So bye for now. Bye. bye.